wanna be a voice impressionist Like no one ever was To learn voices is my test To teach them is my cause To analyze each impression Who will be our guide The amazing larynx And the vocal cords inside That intro is ridiculous. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. I'm your host, Brendan Hodek. Today we have yet another Pokemon voice for you as we continue our Pokemon series. Which Pokemon voice are we breaking down today? Who's that Pokemon? It's Charmander! Charmander! That's right. Today, we have everyone's favorite orange salamander-like creature with a tail that's on fire. Charmander! Let's break this voice down. Component number one, the vocal cords. Charmander definitely has a high-pitched voice, which means we need to lengthen the vocal cords. This will be in everyone's head voice or falsetto range. We often talk about the compression of the vocal cords, meaning how tightly or loosely the cords are coming together. When the chords have less compression, there is usually a breathy quality to the sound. Depending on which voice actor is voicing Charmander, there will be more or less compression of the chords. Sometimes we hear no breathiness. Charmander! Char! Whereas other times we hear a fair amount of air leaking. Charmander! Char! This is due to that compression level. You can choose which kind of Charmander voice you prefer. On a few occasions, there will be some distortion present in Charmander's voice. One way this happens is the airy epiglottic folds. See Voice Breakdown episodes 9 and 17 for more information on those. As we bring the airy epiglottic folds tightly together, we can create some distortion. Charmander! Charmander! We can use this when he is angry or acting tough. Additionally, sometimes when he is tired or weak, we might hear some vocal fry distortion at the vocal cord level. This will be that slight crackling sound. Uh, Charmander! This can be difficult to do at first at higher pitches. A good way to learn this is to slide on a vocal fry from low pitch to high pitch and vice versa. Like this. Uh, Component number two, the larynx. We have discussed in past videos how the larynx is not a pitch changer, but rather a quality or timbre changer. This is still the case. However, oftentimes the larynx will naturally rise as we raise our pitch. This is the case for Charmander's voice. When doing this voice, you can allow your larynx to naturally rise. You do not have to try and keep it neutral. At the same time, however, we do not need to force it to rise either. Simply allow it to move up naturally as you raise pitch, and this should be just fine. Charmander, char! Component number three, the tongue. We want to raise the back of the tongue for Charmander's voice. This will help give us some of the brightness we are looking for. It also naturally goes along with having the larynx rise. The back of the tongue will tend to go with it. Also, this upward motion of the tongue tends to assist our soft palate position, which we will discuss in a moment. As to the specific height of this tongue position, if this is my tongue at rest, Charmander, Charmander, and this is my tongue all the way up, Charmander, Charmander, Charmander's tongue position would fall halfway between the two. Charmander, 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 Charmander. Component number four, the soft palate. This is a pretty crucial component for this voice. 
Charmander has a lot of nasal resonance, sending the voice primarily into the nose. We are not sending it 100% into the nose, because if we did that, we would not really be able to produce any consonant sounds. But we want to send it the most into our nose that we can, while still having enough come out of the mouth so we can hear consonant sounds. So it might not be but it should still be Charmander, Charmander. This is accomplished by lowering the soft palate. Lowering the soft palate and raising the back of the tongue tend to go together. So this should happen pretty naturally with the other components discussed so far. Placing your fingers lightly on your nose can help you to determine if there is good nasal resonance and therefore a lowered soft palate. Charmander. Component number five, articulation. As we know, Pokemon only say their name, and Charmander is no different. The only sounds he says are the sounds in his name. He says all of these sounds perfectly normally. Therefore, there is nothing to worry about for this component. Charmander! Component number six, prosody. Charmander is typically fairly upbeat in his personality. As a result, his prosody is often defined by keeping his pitch elevated. He does often have a fairly specific melodic pattern when saying his full name. The pitch tends to fall with each syllable. The char is usually the highest pitch, and then it falls with subsequent syllables. Charmander! Charmander! Syllables tend to be drawn out and stretched as well. Let's recap. Component number one, the vocal cords. We want the vocal cords to be lengthened to create a high pitch. Compression can vary per your preference. Component number two, the larynx. You can allow the larynx to naturally rise. Component number three, the tongue. Raise the back of the tongue to give the voice increased brightness. Component number four, the soft palate. Significantly lower the soft palate to give the voice plenty of nasal resonance. Component number five, articulation. Nothing to worry about with this component. Charmander says the sounds in his name just fine. Component number six, prosody. Have a typically elevated pitch with upbeat inflections. Drop the pitch on each syllable and be sure to stretch out syllables. Charmander, char, Charmander, Charmander, Char, Charmander. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't say Charmander that many times. <laughs> Thank you for watching New York Speech Coaching's Voice Breakdown, episode number 39, the third episode of our Pokemon series. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices.